alive now or Memorex? Uh, it's red. I guess that means live, doesn't it? I'll tell you what, it's uh, this is the third year. I want to welcome our buddy tonight to the 12th edition of the Aquarius Auction, which is the third year of doing it. Uh, I want to thank everybody that's here tonight to participate. Mods, uh, do your thing. Uh, Lori has all the emails. I sent them to her, so she got that. Uh, wow, it's 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 been a while. Mm -hmm. But we got to give this disclaimer out right away. We don't make nothing off of this. The people that make stuff off of it is the people that's coming up to sell stuff. So there you go. We don't get nothing from this. Just a satisfaction. He doesn't. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pay him. I got to pay. I got to pay Paulie. But, uh, just did a rookie mistake and didn't do that. But yeah, we don't we don't make nothing off of this. We do this to help everybody out. Uh, is this done once a year? No, actually, this will be the first one we'll do it one a month up until October will be the last one. Because uh, normally I try to save November for the benefit auction if we have one, or might just do that in October this year so that it's still warm. We'll see what happens. You got to get with the doc on that. Uh, I'm just going to say a blanket hello to everybody because I want to get this going. Now, first up tonight is Coro Works, and he made something that he would like for you people to enjoy and buy off of him. So here he is. Uh, I don't see him yet. He should be down there. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hey, sorry. No, you're fine. Uh, I have pictures, but since you have it up, I'll just go ahead and make you uh, solo. Okay. Uh, I will don't need to see us. So once I put the starting bit in the chat, the timer will start. And you can go ahead and talk about it, Coro. Tell us what we got. Yeah, so it's actually, I don't know, probably more like 12 inches than... than um, the 10 that I advertised it as. So that's a bonus. It does fit in a two and a half gallon tank. So if you have a tank larger than that or that size, you're good. If it's a one gallon, you might be SOL. Um, probably going to end up with snails on this. I know that there's a couple. Sorry, I'm going to get as many of them off as I can, but there's probably still snail eggs in it. Advance warning. Um, we have Java Fern Wendelov here and here, uh, two healthy rhizomes. And then each of the Buse sprouts on here, I have at least three with good. I don't, I, my finger's blocking what I'm trying to point at. But right there is tiny, tiny Buse leaves that are new growth on, like, yes, that leaf is burning and dying. This new growth, the rhizome's healthy. Same thing here. We have new growth down here at the bottom. Oh, at the bottom. Center that on the camera screen for you guys. Yes, this leaf is burning and dying. Those are new growth. The rhizome is healthy. This one over here, I'm going to pull out of the thing really quick. This one's doing great. It has tons of roots, has tons of new growth. You could probably split that and start a third or a fourth spot where there's beautiful Alondra on the log if you wanted to. I think it's pretty neat looking. Yeah. And from the original, the original pictures, there. what's that? I said, I'm also willing to put another plant there. And this is like the $25 is including shipping. It's going to cost me, I think, $14 to ship it anywhere in the contiguous United States. So if you're in Alaska or Hawaii, I yeah, my cost, we'll, we'll arrange that outside. Uh, but everywhere else, thank you, Eduardo. Yeah, from when, when did you send me that email? It 
look it's looking really good now from whenever you first started what a few weeks ago yeah so i planted it on march 12th on stream um i've actually been taking a time lapse of the whole thing so if you'd like i can send you the raw footage like all of that time lapse if you want to see the growth process um but i'm going to edit that down to the exciting parts and make a video out of that at some point i have way too much to go through there it's going to be a pain but yeah uh the other things that are growing on the log are a few different mystery mosses and a bunch of sis washer tongue oh i love that stuff i know i've also got some other abuse rhizomes on here that don't have new growth yet oh this one does that's four look at that baby leaf Oh, yeah. Out of the, oh, there we go. And uh, Keith put some good info in the chat for you. Hawaii and California can't ship plants to without a permit. Okay. Noted. Um, yeah, I'm going to be in California in um, June. So if anybody's in California and they want to meet me in Sacramento... For this or a different log, I have a whole bunch soaking, and I'm going to start planting them soon. I have another in this tank that is not for sale today, but we can make arrangements. Uh, let's see. Ross, check your email. I sent you the link again. You are up next. Uh, yeah, we got so Eduardo with 40 bucks. Oh, Key says he's been busted with that. But uh, since we only got one better right now, I'm going to go with going once. But that, that is pretty neat looking. I like what you did with that. Oh, yeah. I'm stoked <laughs> with... Here, let me flip it around for you guys. There's not nearly as much growth on this side, but... I'm, I really like just the textures of the wood on this log. Do you know what kind of wood that is? Um, so I don't remember which one this was, but I picked all hardwoods. I grabbed some fruit limbs and some oak that had fallen. I didn't grab any pines. Um, I'm really picky about what wood that I grab, and then it's easy to, like, You know, you, you can be picky after a snowstorm. Oh, yeah. Like, we, we get a lot of wind around here. So I the Parks and Rec cut them up, and then I cut them up smaller. And just it, the amount I'm taking is not going to make a big difference. Um, no. no. It's pretty neat. I like what you did. It is nice. And it looks yeah. like Eduardo is going to be going home with a piece of wood. Wonderful. Well, thank you, Eduardo. I will uh, uh, reach out to me on my email address, uh, which Lori has posted in the chat already for us. Thank you. Um, awesome. Oh, it's not. He says he got to Perfect. 60 gallon all tank for it. Nice. Uh, if you miss, also, if you miss. Uh, the email in the chat, they will be in the description. Thank you, Cora. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, thank well, you. Right. And Polly, you got to make sure that you ask for a raise and a Christmas bonus, you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. You got to advocate for yourself. <laughs> well, I try. I try. I've already got double what's in my hand. Yeah, nothing. Nope. If he if he asks for uh, health insurance, I'm gonna have to fire him. That's it. <laughs> All right, bud, thank you. Have a wonderful day, Good guys. <laughs> oh man, it's awesome. Oh man, Ross, your stuff keeps going in and out. You keep hitting the button. Now I will go ahead and get his stuff up and ready because I have pictures and I know he's probably gonna show it. 
All right, there you be. Can you hear us, Ross? Yeah, I can hear you. I swear hey, it was breaking it up. Yeah, it could be the. How's it going? It's going pretty good. All right, tonight Ross is going to be uh, giving us a combo pack, and in that combo pack, let's see here. I got to bring it up. We have quote me if I, or uh, correct me if I'm wrong because I think I'm going to say this wrong. I two Israeli frozen. It's freezing. He got two Israeli snakeskin koi guppy pairs. One red spotted Rio Paraguay ancestress, one pearl scale gold marble angelfish, small to medium size, and six Asian rummy nose rasborus males. Oh man, that's a that's a that's a really good combo there, Ross. Can you hear us? All right. Well, while he's getting there, I will go ahead and get pictures up. Where do we want to start this at, Ross? Uh, this I'll put the I know it's starting bit is. I didn't put it in there yet. Okay. The sound is going in and out, so I can barely hear anybody. Must be a bad connection tonight. You got storms up there? He's in Baltimore. Well, I guess I would be up there for you. Uh, <laughs> it's getting windy out there, I guess. All right, I'll get these pictures up, and then you can start talking about them. Mm, let's see here. Window. Okay. What? All right. What's opening bid? Opening bid's going to be 70 bucks. All right, I'm starting the clock now. So, Three minutes, people. All right, so this is a pack of uh, of 12 fish. Uh, to be honest, you could do any way that you wanted, to be honest. But uh, it's supposed to be uh, two pairs of the Israeli snakeskin koi guppies, uh, six of the male, or if you want to get like a trio or or two pairs or something like that of the uh, Asian rummy nose that are in there. Uh, it's more of like a red pack, you know, a, just a lot of bright be in the tank with it. Um, I'm pretty sure I said orange shrimp one there too, but yeah. I think I took the orange shrimp off. I could do you orange did. shrimp if you don't want the angel fish. So like, if you don't want that, I have angel fish that size and I have angel fish smaller. So it just all depends on whether or not you would like angelfish or not, uh, whether or not you want to get the orange shrimp. But it's more like a red orange pack. <coughs> you want to set up a 20-gallon or a 29-gallon or something like that, or even a 40-gallon. That's the uh, the real Paraguay uh, red spot, Ancestors. It's one of the new bushy nose. It's a real pretty pleco when, you, uh, when it gets older, real pretty. Uh, actually, the body, the spots are color of that terracotta pot when they get older. So they, they Minute all thirty. Like that burnt. Yes, those are nice. Yeah, the real Paraguay uh, fleco. They're one of the new ones, so it's not like the wob. It's not the wobbin muster or the uh, L. 519, but it's almost there. One minute. Got some good patterns on it. And I haven't seen anybody with those with these coys. It's wild. When you see them in person, the pictures don't do them any justice. They have like a, a green sheen to them with the cobra spots. And... I really like them. These angels are nice too. Those angels are like, I don't even think you can see the pearl scales on them. When you see them in person, they're like, whoa. <laughs> you can a little bit. They're pretty nice. They're shimmering a little bit. I love those rasp 
All right, we got going once. Grady. Got 10 seconds. Shady Grady at 75. I love your fish, man. They, they are, uh, you always give a very nice mix. Fine. Very yeah, nice. I had those angels. I had those angels growing up with a bunch of small fish, so they don't really mess with any other fish. Well, that's good. Belladonna, stop it! Oh man, these are beautiful. I ain't never seen a guppy like this before. Even the that's females it. have the red face too. They're really pretty. Yeah, that's that's pretty far out because you really don't get that often, do you? Nah, you don't really see too many other pretty girls. All right, it's sold to Shady Grady for seventy five dollars. Congrats, awesome. Shady. That's, oh, I guess I need to stop the screen. <laughs> I think I never done this before. <laughs> we get back in training there, Skip. Yeah, it's normally normally it's Jason doing all that, and I'm pay, trying to pay attention to everything else, but he couldn't make it tonight. But Shady Grady, uh, also, oh man, I keep forgetting to do this too. Make sure you CC us also what, and uh, so we can watch the correspondence to make sure everything goes good. Thank you, Monster Fish Gal, for doing that. I always forget that. Thank you very much. Uh, the next one, oh, is it two or is it? Or do I mean, you have another one? What's your other one? Thing. I mean, I, it was, I was going to do two packs. Of the thing, but, so. you, want to you want to do another one? That's fine. That's if anybody was interested. Uh, well, we'll put her up there again. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the same deal. Uh, starting bid. Go ahead and start the timer, please. Starting bid is uh, 70 bucks. if anybody else is interested in this awesome pack. I mean, that's a deal right there. You ain't lying. It's going to be the same thing. I'll bring the pictures back up for people so they can see it again. I mean, yeah, you can take the angelfish as well. Uh Orange sun kissed shrimp, something like that. Instead of having some bigger fish like an angel, if you got a smaller tank, you could just have like the raspberries, the guppies, and a pleco with some shrimp. That's cool too. But here we go again. Here's a picture of them again. Starting bid $70, $70 for this combo pack. Again, is you got the the rasboris right here. Got some of the guppies are mixed in. Uh, he said the angels or oh man, I'm telling you, they're they're, <laughs> they're beautiful looking. And you got the pearl scale um, angel fish. If you don't want them, he said you can swap them out. Can they go in a 220 gallon tank? Sure. I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't see why I couldn't. Yeah, I think they would love that. Oh, my God. They those wouldn't those angels would really love that. That 220 gallon, those angels would really love that. I mean, put some size on them. Also, uh, Professor Fish Tanks is asking are... the species of the angel One fish. One minute. The species is uh, pearl scale gold marble. That's easy right here. Two twenty, too 20, too small for guppies. <laughs> when you get enough of them, you'd be like, yeah, man, it, it does seem like no tank is enough for guppies when you get enough of them. Well, imagine a tank full of them guppies, 220 gallons. Oh, my gosh. You definitely you definitely have a lot of uh, color popping in there. 30 seconds. I try to have a bunch of colorful fish. 
trying to get rid of some of these guppies and some of these red boars so I can breed some of these of Tetris. Uh, starting big June was 70. I'll put it in the chat real quick. Ten seconds. Well. And she going for $75 going once. Nice. Going once to June. Uh, where did that go? Here, here it is. Well, there you go. We got uh, got two packs of them. Oh, she'll really, she'll, she'll really Congrats, enjoy them. Are right, you gonna enjoy these? Cause they're really pretty. Oh, big cats in the house. Big Steve has seen them. Big Steve has seen them all in person. He's seen all of the tanks in person. Oh, that's right. He came to your house. They did a what you call uh, dwarf orange Mexican crayfish. Yeah, Did, didn't you just do like a a tour or something? The club did a tour. Yeah. And, and he stopped by my place. I think I was like the last stop or something like that. Oh, oh, thanks there for you. having me on. Hey, thank you, Ross. Appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, Ross. Great, great fish, Ross. You have a good one. Thank you. I'm yeah. going to get y'all on my uh, live stream one night. All right. We can do her. Yep. All right. Thank you. All right. Next up is something different that we've never done before. We've done crafts. We've done fish-related stuff. I will get you a picture of both items at the same time, but then we're going to do one at a time. Uh, what it is, it's it's jewelry. Uh, it's made by one of our fish fam members. Uh, let's see. It's made by Night Owl Aquatics. Too many buttons to click. Oh, okay. Well, I just have a, I kept them separate because they're separate bids. Uh, I'm going to show you the first piece and I'm going to read you a description. No, we don't want that. No more fish. Uh, yeah, happy 420. Go to flow. <laughs> All right, let's get this up here. All right, so first up is. This is jewelry. Uh, he made this out of antique silverware. So if you can imagine, that probably used to be a, a fork. What they are, what, sorry, it is 100% sterling silver. I'm going to read this description for both real quick. He couldn't be here tonight because he is not feeling well, which is understandable. I get it. I got to find out where that was. I know I had that up on my phone here a second ago. All right. Uh, he he has been making jewelry and crafts for many years. When, when a raw count jeweler friend closed his jewelry store, he was lucky to have the opportunity to go through his silver uh, that people had sold him. He jumped on it. He was able to get a bunch of different styles of antique silverware. They are 100% sterling silver. Uh, then he started uh, making rings, bracelets, and charms out of it. The fish was more work than what the second one's going to be as a tail. Uh, as it makes, there's a lot of many steps to heating the silver to soften the metal and bending it, and then heating it again, and then re soften it to bend it some more as the silver work hardens as it bends and twists into shape. He also sands and polishes it to get rid of the marks uh, that's put in it while you're manipulating the metal into the fish sh into the fish shape. Uh, these will come on some black cord and will include 
a small polishing cloth to keep it nice and shiny. All right, so the starting bid on the fish piece is going to be 50 bucks. Go ahead and start that timer, please. Got it. $50. $50. Thank you, Hala. <clears throat> it's pretty neat about this is that, you know, that, well, that's really weird that does it. And it's not even on there right now. Huh. Uh, what's pretty neat about this is, is this is made by hand by somebody that we know in the fish hobby. It's pretty. It's. I think it's a beautiful piece. Let me see if I can magnify that a little more for everybody. Come on, Dee Dee. I know you want that. Oh, she's thinking about it. Come on, Dee Dee. But yeah, working. I love handcrafted stuff. That people make. You don't see this. This is like this is a one of a kind. Dee Dee, this will go great with your mermaid outfit. <laughs> yeah, the next piece definitely will too. Yeah, starting base fifty bucks. Tam made. He uh, acquired the hundred percent sterling silver. Uh, this piece would take a lot of manipulating of that metal, uh, a lot of heating, cooling. Then he probably had a lot of polishing to do with this also. There's a lot of time that went into this piece. <laughs> it is nice. It is very nice. The starting bid is 50 bucks. Something we've never done before, so I was like, man, this is great. Anything that's fish-related, art, crafts like this. This is jewelry also. Got 20 seconds. Come on, people. You know you want it. Come on. Who's, whose wife's birthday is coming up? Peplin should buy this for uh, Foxy. All right, sorry, Night Owl. Nobody, there was no takers on this, so we're going to go ahead and move to the next piece. <coughs> no, we don't want that. All right, next piece is a mermaid tail, or you could say it's a whale tail, whatever your imagination desires. It's a pretty neat piece. The starting bid on this is $30. I think I'd be able to do this typing stuff quicker. Uh, hello, Garcia. Thank you for being here. Uh, enjoying the stream with some blackberry, ice, blueberry ice cream in hands. Wow. That's, uh, I don't think I ever had blueberry ice cream. All right. This is your starting bid. 30 bucks for the, uh, there we go. That thing didn't want to work for a minute. Starting bids thirty bucks. Uh, let's see, it's a uh, same thing. It's it's a hundred percent sterling silver. Whenever you get it, it's going to come on a cord. Well, guess what, Jimmy P? This would be your first time. Go ahead and pay for this tail. <laughs> yeah, it's a mer. You can use this as a mermaid tail. Well, uh, it also comes with a piece of polishing cloth so you can keep it nice and shiny. It's pretty neat, pretty neat piece, nice and unique. What I one of the things I like about it is is up here where he made the hole for the ring. You still see part of the what the minute from, thirty from the uh, silverware itself. I think that's pretty neat.
Nice starting bid, 30 bucks. Come on, people. You know you could buy this for somebody that would like it. It's $30 of silver there. Yeah. One minute. We got $30. To... Eduardo's got $30. Yeah. I knew he'd like it. Oh, Brother Dan says $35, oh, Eddie. Are you going to let him beat you? Thirty-seven says forty. Forty dollars. Ed Eduardo likes his tail. It screams foxy to me. <laughs> yeah, it does. <clears throat> oh, you're awesome. He's in St. Louis right now. In the house. Thank you for the twenty dollars super chat. Thank you very much. I really seconds. appreciate it. It'll go back to the channel one way or the other. Actually, this is going to go toward the uh, auction account for whenever we do a giveaway at the end. Eduardo. Okay. Uh, yes. Eduardo won. Well, let's see. Hold on a minute. Going once. Got to do it right. Twice. So, uh, just one one thing I want to put out there. So we're not spamming. We ain't got a lot of people putting in who's winning, who has the highest bid. Let's let the mods do that, please. Because uh, it'll probably uh, get a little confusing. You put all that in there, and then it's hard for me to keep track. Uh, Canisteo has a nice little uh, thing for Eduardo. <laughs> Eduardo got some wood now. A little <laughs> That's all right, Lando. You're okay. Appreciate it, though. All right, it's sold to Eddie. Thank you, Eddie. That was what, 40? Yeah. Sold. I swear, you'd think I'd know how to do this. All right, next up is uh, KG Aquatics. He's been so nicely waiting patiently in the background. I'm going to bring him up. There you be. What's up, Good brother? Evening. Hey, guys. Uh, I got to get you. All right, so we're going to do two lots. Uh, and these are some amazing fish. I love these fish. They remind me of little trouts. There's your hint. Y'all should know what they are. It's not a brown trout. <laughs> Brooke. Brooke. <laughs> it's yeah, not we don't a want that. trout either. No. No. But what, what he has is seven CPDs. Uh, I'll show you a little B-roll that he has. No, we're going to do two lots of them. Uh, let me get this up. You want to go ahead and talk about them, and I'll get them up here. Yeah, <clears throat> these are not imported, um, folks. These are these are locally bred um, by myself and by a friend of mine that is local to me. So he breeds a lot of fish. I breed I breed, you know, a fair amount. Um, he doesn't like to sell fish, so I uh, I barter with him. I trade with him I, <coughs> for his for his fish or or plants or money do whatever he wants so um <clears throat> anyways these are locally bred what you're watching right now is some fish that i actually just picked up from him the other day um well actually a couple weeks ago um <clears throat> so they're kind of stressed so they're you know the coloring is not the greatest but in the video give them time put them in the tank and the colors are going to pop. Feed them good food, um, which we offer too. But um, 
this is another fish that you could tub. So tub season is upon us in the Northeast. It's already, you're already in full swing down in the, in the, in the warmer zones. <clears throat> this fish can tolerate a wide, range of temperatures you can go down into the to mid to low 60s actually with these on up to probably 80 degrees fahrenheit um as far as like water condition i mean as far as like ph they could tolerate from i don't know from probably five and a half probably on up to like 8.3 ph so super easy fish that's that's all I got to say about them, and they're and they're cool. They're cool as shit. Or oops, they're yeah, they're cool. As okay. shit. So, um, <laughs> all you need, honestly, is I would say a five gallon tank or above. Um, so, if you have a big tank, I'm saying like a fifty five or seventy five. You could put 300 of these in there. For real, you can. And the more you put in the tank, um, the more you're going to like them, honestly. If, if you buy four or five of them and you put them in a 10-gallon tank, you're not going to see them too much because they're kind of skittish and they're going to hide. But if, say, you put 25 in a 10-gallon tank, and yeah, you could do it. Um, just keep up with the, you know, with the, you know, clean, keep the water clean. Um, but you put 25 in a 10-gallon tank, you're gonna see them all the time, and they're they're just amazing fish. They really second. So, so get you some of these nuts. <laughs> That's messed up. You see, <laughs> you see what Patman said. <laughs> yeah, I'm messed up, but that's okay. Well, that too. Get, yeah, get some booty ton. <laughs> get some of these <laughs> Oh man, going once to Dennis Kurtzson for twenty eight dollars. <laughs> you got a steal right there, like you really yeah. did. These these sell at my local fish store right now for nine dollars each. So nine dollars. So what? Seven? That's four dollars a fish. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's. That's you got it. You got them cheap, um, but that's a, that's okay. That's okay. It's all it's 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 an auction, so I ain't worried. That's why I gave minimum bid. So, what'd you say? Uh, your, the shipping will be uh twenty. It's tw it's twenty. Our the way we ship fish is twenty dollars priority mail. There's no live arrival guarantee or fifty dollars. And we offer live arrival guarantee. The only reason is priority is good, and I have no issue with it most of the time. But priority since COVID is not what it used to be. Um, so the possibility of delays is still there, and it 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 doesn't happen often, but it it still happens. I I shipped some plants down to. Uh, the Atlanta area, not, not to Atlanta, but just outside of Atlanta, um, like a couple weeks ago. And it got all the way down to the sorting area in Atlanta. And it sat in the friggin' sorting area outside of Atlanta, Georgia for a week before it got to my customer. And that was priority mail. So I, I, I won't guarantee priority mail. So, um, sorry. <laughs> it ain't sold yet, Monster Fish Cow. They keep bidding it. So, where's a bidding more? I'll still I'll still keep it going. Sorry, Lori. But we do we do ship these fish in breather bags, and I and I will tell you that I've had fish live in breather bags for over a month, and I've had fish live in a regular poly bag like everybody uses normally for over 14 days um not not that is recommended or preferred i'm just telling you fish are pretty tough so um and, unless they 
use the box as a football. All right, Dennis Christian's out. It's sold to Canistillo for $35. 35 bucks. I know that guy, so I know where to send him. But um, anyways, I guess just to keep it kosher. Um, we'll go ahead and do a second one. Yeah. So, yeah, David, email me, but copy Skipper on it or, or or whatever. I don't know. The mods will throw up the the email addresses. Starting a timer. All right. Thank you. We'll do another lot. $28 again. I, I got it, and I can't spell second. I just realized that. <laughs> That's okay. Send it, Bobby. We got another <laughs> SenCon lot. <laughs> yeah. Just like the fingers. There you go. Yeah, see? You know how it is. Yeah. But yeah, just You're just like to reiterate, you know, these these are not imported. They're they're locally bred. Um I do them outside in the tub. I'm going to do some more this year. If you want to do them in a tub, last year I did a 35-gallon tub, just the round ones you can get at, uh, like, Lowe's. And I covered the bottom of the tub in glass marbles, and I put some java moss, some subwasser tang, and then some floating plants on top and a few marginals like, like pickerel and uh, some taro. But uh, I think the trick with being successful last year was the marbles. Um, so the marbles, like, basically present, you know, that's the substrate, but it's like a false bottom, and there's, like, a lot of nooks and, excuse me, crevices between the between the marbles so the, the eggs could drop down there and the fry can hide out and they don't get, you know, picked off by the <laughs> by the bigger fish. Uh, you take payment, uh, PayPal. We do uh, PayPal, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, highest bid right now is Dennis Christian at twenty for twenty eight bucks. Ken Street the Aquatic Sale, so uh, he does PayPal. Uh, yeah. After this lot, after this lot, I'll explain to you, Ken, how you can uh, get involved in this. I saw that question earlier. I didn't forget, bud. Yeah. What What we would do is, um, you know, when the when the the winning bid uh, contacts me um, with their email address, we would send a PayPal invoice. So you're covered. You're covered um, by PayPal. We don't do friends and family for business, so you don't have to be, you know, worried about that. You know, business. Thirty people, I, I don't do friends and family um, so unless you're unless you're a true friend. So, yeah, if you're like really a friend or family, then we do friends and family. But if you're I don't ask that for any customer. So um, we sell on Aquabid, too. And we don't don't do friends and family on Aquabid either. Yeah. Um, Uh, Dee, do you want to know what what the bid is? It's twenty eight dollars for seven CPDs right now. Highest bidder is Dennis. And it's going once. And just so if you if you guys come across on social media and and the sellers ask you or demand you to pay friends and family, that's that's a bad thing. Tell them to go suck it. So, um, <laughs> listen, that reminds me of of uh, the Christmas Carol. That it does. <laughs> uh, this is this is the second batch, the second go around of it. So um, that's the end of my want, story. Unfortunately, it's sold. It, it, fortunately, but unfortunately for Dee Dee, it sold to Dennis Christian for uh, twenty eight dollars. You can always get a hold of KJE. I am sure he has more. Oh, I got right now in a tank available, ready to ship is like over, I got over 150 of these fish. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of fish. Yep. 
So I appreciate you guys, and I appreciate you folks that bid on the fish, and we will get them out as soon as possible, as soon as we uh, square up and get in contact with each other. Thank you, Keith. Awesome as always. Thank you for bringing a good, good point. Yeah, man. Hi, right, Keith. Thanks. And uh, peace out. Thank you. Who, who else is next? Uh, next up is going to be Max. Okay. He got he got some fish. Uh, we got Kenny E with some fish, and then Big Steve. All right, cool. I'll I'll stick around and see what they got. Yeah, we got we got three three more three more auctions to go yet. Three more people. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's fun. That's funny. Shady said he was going to say the same thing. He's going to have nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what, what was that name again? Oh, man. I forgot it already. Ken's 3D, 3D and Aquatics. You had asked a question earlier about how you can get involved uh, with putting stuff up for sale, I believe. I'm almost there. I know it's right there. So anyways, what you will do is you will email uh, the AquarisAuction at gmail.com. Uh, you will let us know what you want to put up for auction. It's up to two lots. Uh, some people have three tonight because I just wanted to make it big. But uh, normally it's two. Uh, so, therefore, you just let us know what you want. Give me the starting bid that you want with it. How many? The description of them. Uh, pictures and video. Video is nice because it stays focused a lot better. But pictures will do all right also. Uh, so, what you'll do is you'll just email us at uh, the Aquarius Auction at gmail.com. And if you have any questions, I will I will answer them for you. So next up we have Max. Oh, he got some awesome fish. Let's see what he got. Let's bring him on up. Hello, Max. How you doing? Good. How you doing? Oh, pretty hey. good. Pretty good. I'm nice. Sorry, if you hear my dogs, they get excited when I talk to anyone or answer the phone or do anything. They get jealous. <laughs> yep. They get jealous. All right. First thing we're going to do is those beautiful looking angels. Yeah, those are some uh, some real nice angels, I think. I, I, think those. I believe they are. And they, um, sure they are. Because here they are. So I'm going to do this first. We've got five of them. I'll let you say what they are, and then I will go ahead and type the bid in chat on how much the starting bid is. So go ahead and fire away, Max. All right, so these are some um, koi angels, red devil koi angels, um, whatever you want to call them, with the high orange. Um, these are from a pair that I got off of Steve Rubicki. Uh Super high grade pair. I think I sent. Did I send you a video of that by any chance? Uh, I, I know I got a picture. I think. Okay, but I, I will show that also. So these should color up real nice um, from what I've seen with some others that have um, that have grown up. So this these uh, this group of five, I, I'm, I'm doing this exact group. I mean, I do have others as well, but I figure people like to see what they're getting. So I'll do this exact group. Uh, I want to start that at 75. Um, hopefully we can get a shot of the parents up there because they are just um stunning yeah just spectacular that's some sweet color on those fish and um if you know steve or bicky or anything about him he just has some really really amazing um angels great genetics i think out of I don't know. I, I probably get less than 5% calls out of these, which is pretty impressive with um, with angels. Uh, somebody wants to know about shipping, if you have an idea. Oh, overnight shipping. Um, I'm going to... it. 
Should be 50 to 55 for overnight shipping on these. Uh, and that's uh, guaranteed live arrival. And, you know, I'll, if anything's wrong, I'll refund or replace the um, order for free. So, no, so that was like I cover shipping on the, on a replacement order. All right. So these are the ones that you're going to be getting. The picture Correct. before was the parents. These are right now, these are about, on the body size is uh, about a quarter, a little bit bigger right now. So these will color up dramatically as they mature. <laughs> They're beautiful. Boy, yeah. Nice. I, I, they get I'm, that darker red color, right? Yeah, I'm really, um, I'm really happy <coughs> with this, um, with this pair. It's just, they, they just do a really great job. Real nice, healthy fish. Steve has got some really amazing fish. You got to watch, though. It's hard with his. You know, he puts up those, uh, he puts up <laughs> these, what you see is what you get pairs, and um, it, it gets a little brutal. <laughs> oh, yeah. But they look pretty amazing. Uh, we got a high bid at $100 coming from Jeff Kane, Empire of Dirt Aquatics. 20 seconds. That sounds like a going once to me. Man. So, yeah, shipping is going to, I'll just say it max, we'll max it out at 55. It's probably right at 50. It just depends where you are in the country. But if anything over 55, and I just cover the difference. Uh, <laughs> Model T. Uh, Alishon wants to know uh, your location, and do you only do overnight shipping? Um, on these, yeah, I'm only doing overnight shipping, and I'm in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Oh, my God. Okay. stop playing. It ain't stopping. <laughs> uh, no, Ross said he got he got his orange marble pair from Steve. Oh, nice, nice. And sold to Jeff. Oh, you lucky you, <laughs> lucky Eddie Wardo. Okay, going once, Jeff. Sorry. Dang nabbit. <laughs> he tried to snipe it. He almost lost it. On, on another note, I got a lot of exciting stuff going on here. I'm um, building out a new space, um, hooking up, uh, doing about 200 um, shrimp tanks. I think about 8440s and uh, about 120 20s getting oh, set up wow. so it's uh it's gonna be exciting i got everything going on a central drain and it's gonna be really cool uh i think jeff is bowing out eduardo he must have got his his uh refund <laughs> i knew this was coming knew it freaking knew it I knew that was coming. All right. Uh, Jeff is out. So it's sold to Eddie for $110. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it is one heck of a fish room edition. Uh, let's see. 110 Eddie. Hang Thank on. you, Eddie. Ooh. He said no. He said no. He paid that. Oof. Uh, the witch is dead. Oh, come on here. All right. This I have just video. I didn't put the pictures up because it's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> yeah, they do show pretty well. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so this is something that I've never, never heard of until you said about it. Uh, we got a group of... Uh, 
of six albino gold lasers. Yeah, and they just basically just glow. And they're not the glow ones. They, they, they're, they're not glowfish, glow but, I mean, they they just, they're amazing. They're one of, I, I really love these. They're um, still pretty uh, hard to come across, but they pretty much look like that all the time on any substrate. They get a real nice stripe, just like <laughs> the lasers do, but, you know, they have that much brighter gold color to them. Um, these are a little pricier. These, I'm, it's still a good deal compared to retail, but, um, these I'm starting at, what did I say? 210, which is yeah, 35 you... a piece. So I, I also have more, and just to, I guess to give a range, I sell these, I've got these down now at 45 each for what I sell them for. So. Still a pretty good deal, decent savings on a group. They are nice. And shipping on these, overnight shipping is going to be 45, maximum 50. Again, just kind of depends where you are in the country. Uh, yes, June, uh, all you have to do is email them. Uh, if you can't get them now, you can get them later. Uh, you have quite a few of these. Um, I've got a decent amount, but I've got more growing out. So if I run low, I'll have more in about another month. But right now, I probably have about um, 30 or so available right now. So I still have a... Oh, you still have a good bit. Yeah, yeah. So I, I ain't never seen these before. I ain't even heard of them until I read your email. I'm like, is he pulling my freaking leg? No, they're yeah. they're awesome though. I yeah, it was a AI. These are AI generated. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it was really a shock when I found these, and they just they just blew me away. Well, that's like they're they got albino star buys now. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm like. I got to tell you, I love what people are doing to get this. Yeah, I know I should get them, right? Professor Fish Tanks, if you buy them, I'll, I'll take them. <laughs> right now, I ain't got room for them, so no. Yeah, these are albino gold lasers, Stephen. Uh, it's just they're – you can see the gold striping in them. It's just amazing, that stripe going down. But these yeah. are uh, – pretty awesome they photograph really well too i got they're um so you know i do a lot of the the like high res you know uh macro photos and some stuff is so hard with lighting but these guys are just so bright <laughs> they uh really photograph well come on they're only 35 dollars each yeah i know i was i, I was uh wasn't sure it's um they're pretty tasty, but it's a, it's a very uh, cool fish. <laughs> and again, I, I uh, guaranteed live arrival. If um, they don't show up, if whatever happens, I just I'll send you new ones or um, refund the whole order. Well, Alice Sean wants to know if they're sexable. They are not sexable yet. These yeah, are about. Yeah. About an inch long at this point. I think they're about. Um, oh yes, I bred. Um, I bred all these. Um, mm -hmm. Well, it tips. I do um, cool water water changes. Yeah. Honestly, I got a group of six of these. I didn't think they were close to ready to breed yet, and then I just randomly saw a juvenile swimming around in the tank. So I pulled the moss, a bunch of the moss out, kind of cleared it up, started feeding. But typically with my quarries, I feed heavy. Um, I feed heavy for a couple of weeks, do some frozen blood worms. I breed some grindle worms, um, frozen brine shrimp, and just a variety of food. And then I do like an 80% water change with cooler water. 
And um, what I'm finding lately seems to help with some is a major change in TDS. I don't actually think it's a change in the pH. I, I, I've, I've tried to mess with both, but um, it seems a, a change in TDS can um, get them um, spawning. Well, sorry we couldn't get them going for you. Uh, nobody bid it, and time is up. But if you did not have the money tonight, you can always get with with uh, Max uh, at the email in the description, and he'll get it. He'll get back in contact with you. Thank you, Max. Awesome fish. Thanks, Max. Oh, you're very welcome. And yeah, if you um, feel free to reach out if you want. If anybody wants, I, I do have other angels available as well. So, and um, if you don't mind, I, I actually am, it's almost ready, but it is open to, to go check out. I do have a website that I'm, uh, my, my wife, my wonderful wife has been helping me with and getting going for me. Um, it's just maxaquatic.com. That's just yeah. Max Aquatic because the S was brutal. It's like to add the S was extra. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It was at a quarter of a million dollars to add the S. <laughs> so I, I just went with <coughs> MaxAquatic.com. I figured I could um, All deal right. with it, you know. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Max. All right. Thanks, you Mark. have a great night. All right. You too, bud. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, okay. We have up next. If you guys don't know this person, then you need to keep watching YouTube and find his channel because it's awesome. This guy has great fish also. We got the Kenny E from Danikin Aquatics. What up, fish people? What's going on, guys? What's up, Kenny? Uh, okay, I just had that up ready to go. Tortured me tonight, man. I'm sitting here trying to be a good... I mean, I've gotten 15 tanks down this weekend. I mean, them Corys, I, I had DTs, man. My hands were shaking. I wanted to, I'm going to probably have to call that guy after this. I mean, those I've never seen anything like it. Those uh, things were stunning, man. That's that's what I'm saying. Like, i I never seen them before. Never, never seen them before. And if you want, Skip, I can go live from uh, each tank because I'm in, doing water changes in the lower level, so all of these are where I'm at. So if you want me to go yeah. live for you, too, I can do that as well. If you would, please. So, so we're starting with the uh, dragon. The dragon guppies. And it's three pairs, right? Yes, Guppy? sir. Okay. And I'm going to, before I get too far, because this is going to drive everybody nuts. So we'll get this unplugged. Okay. It is three pairs of dragon guppies. And the starting bid is whatever you want. So start that bid, people. Clock is starting. All right, Skip. Oh, my, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Mm. There you go. That's uh, three pairs of uh, dragon guppies. Uh, Ken, Ken's 3D Aquatics, can you put a dollar sign not at, please, if that is your bid? But uh, well, These are gorgeous, man. They're one of my favorites that we have. Just stunning. We've got a question on shipping. What's the cost? 20 bucks. That'd be three day priority. All right. We got a starting bid of $20 to Ken's 3D and Aquatics. Oh, man. They are beautiful. I actually got to see these in person. I got to tell you, they're amazing. And do, do they, they, they don't have Dumbo in them, do they? They do. So they these are Dumbo Dragon Guppies. They're dumbos. So you're going yeah, to see their tails. That's how they get to see how they're nice and. Yeah. That's cool. Some of them aren't as defined, but that's one of my favorites right there. Almost looks like I cut them, don't it? <laughs> Am I still with you guys? Yeah, you're still here. This is the only room I was a little sketch about because this is like in the heart of the abyss, man. Yeah, I know. That's why I had the picture on backup just in case. <laughs> so, 
Sorry, people. We got three pairs of guppies. It ain't just you're paying for one. You're paying for three. And they are also Dumbos. They are beautiful. Here we have Ken's 3D and Aquatics. $20. Hey, Skip, I got the uh, timer. In, I, uh... I see it there. I can't. If I bring it up, it knocks Kenny out. All right. Henry. Also, uh, another thing is this is United States only. I did not put that out. out 30 first. seconds. Put that out first. If you could only ship to Spain, right? And then they can pay me, Skipper, by PayPal. Uh, they can reach out to me to give me their address at danikin.aquatics at gmail.com. And that is also our PayPal account, danikin.aquatics at gmail.com. 10 seconds. Going once. Two. All right. Time's up. Going once to Ken's for $30. $10 apparel. <laughs> nice fish. That is amazing. Uh, Dixon's Designs, it is uh, 20 bucks. is what the shipping's going to be. Going twice. <laughs> High first class. Oh, you're calling first class bright. Wrong. Oh, Congrats, Ken. You're going to love them. They're nice, nice guppies. You're going to love them. They are so. Ken's 3D for $30. So All right. So up next to all the panda guppies. It's again, it's for three pairs. And these, I, I don't, is the purple showing up, Skip? Yeah. Uh, a little bit. These are stunning, stunning, stunning panda guppies, and they almost always breed like this. Beautiful. Timer started. Oh, man. Now, Skip, you've seen these in person, too. Yeah, I know. And what's cool about it, guys, they're, they're a smaller guppy. They're probably about halfway between a, an endler and a guppy as far as size. So they're not ginormous like a lot of them. So. Oh, killer kitty. Damn you, killer kitty. Killer kitty got it before you, Henry. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking, you don't have to have wonder if they're uh, fruit ready for it or not. I mean, this guy's been chasing her the whole stream. So, <laughs> Man, Craig, you can't buy these. You're overseas unless you're buying them for somebody. But Ken's got it at 30. Yeah, there's a reason, uh, Boots Cats. They There is no starting bid on these. Sorry. Uh, Lumpy Dog wants to know if they only eat bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Lumpy Dog. I love that guy. <laughs> How you doing, Lumpe? Uh, we still got a minute and a half on these ones, and they're thirty dollars going to Ken's 3D Aquatics. Uh, if he wins both, does he pay shipping twice? I can see, Ken, of, that would be uh, 12 bags. That'd be tight for the medium box. If you want me to do a one, we could move you up to a large box and no problem. I should be able to fit all 12 in there. And now I think nowadays it's about 28 bucks for a large. So if you wanted to just pay me an extra eight bucks, I'll put them all in one box. 
Oh, okay, Jeff Pelham. I was wondering. I was hoping he was buying for somebody. <laughs> oh, man, these are nice. Yeah, yeah, it's Ken. It's looking like uh, you're going to win both of them. Uh, but yeah, that, that, <coughs> that post that she put up in there for you has his email address on it. So, so are we done with this one? Uh, yeah, we're going once on it. You can back off of it if you want. All right, I'll go to the next tank. Oh. Oh, Cora Works says $35 and he'll bring it here. Go he said her. what now? Uh, Cora Works just bid it on her. Never mind. We got a bidding war, so you, we're going to be uh, a second. Ken, all right. I'll, I'll go back to my face for now until we're done with that. Uh, Cora bidded uh, 35 and said he was going to bring the beer. <laughs> Carl, you if you win, you can come hand pick yours, boy. <laughs> well, well, it's the first class fish. It was in the it was in the title. <laughs> We're back, baby. We got uh, we have these panda guppies. Well, they're pretty much sold. Carl's out. All right. Okay. <coughs> They're sold to uh, Ken's 3D. For what was it? 40 on these ones. 40 Somalians. And like I said, Ken, since you got both pairs, just pay 28 bucks for shipping and that'll be for both. <coughs> oh, that ain't bad at all. I should be able to fit them all in there, I would think. A large, yeah, you should. I uh, I only ship them one per bag too, Ken. So they should be good, but yeah, his shipping's awesome. I will tell you. So we got shrimp up next. These are neos, right? Yes, sir. Okay, let's make sure I put that in the description, right? We All got right. neo caradina, bright little oranges. They are. You get fifteen near neo caradina orange shrimp. Starting bid is zero, so you start the bid, people. Oh, okay, first class fish. Yeah, we'll be doing it again next month. Matter of fact, I will tell you when the next one is. Uh, go ahead and start bidding. Uh, Boots Cats, it is 15 of them. 15 scrimps. Uh, starting bid. I guess I got to type it in here for people. Nothing. Zero. <laughs> Orange shrimp. Great with strawberries. Yeah. They'd look well together. If I had a tank, I'd be bidding on these. Two minutes. Well, uh, give me a dollar sign, Lady R, if you want them, please. Uh, same shipping, yes. Uh, they will be uh, twenty bucks, also, right? Correct. Uh, Reagan Palmer, is it twenty dollars? Didn't he I say the one thing bad about the Neos, man, is you, you get one color, you can't stop. They just get in your blood and you just keep going and going. I know. I got them yellows with the gold back. Oh. Wow. Aqua did 25. Thank you. <coughs> Were these ones in the tub that time I was there? No, the tub had my... Uh, Blue blue uh, sapphires in it. Oh, that's right. And unfortunately, a couple of weekends ago, I sold some fish and took the air off of that to uh, fill their bags and left the air off. And I went about 
about four days later, I'm like, oh, no, I got smelted. Lost Aww. every damn one. Nah. But as you can see, I mean, they've got nice orange to them. Reagan 30. Uh, yes, Skull, those wilds are nice, too. I have, I have some of them from him. Some of the what? Uh, the wild color. 26. Yeah. He's talking about the Malawas? No, no, no. They're Neos. They're just like a brown. Mm. And some of them have a stripe on the back, too. Uh, third, third, <laughs> I figured that's what she's doing. I thought All right, going once at $35. You can back off, Kenny, if you want. All right. Going twice. Uh, Rachel had a question. What was it? Is there... Reagan uh, Palmer at 40. We could do another lot of them. If Kenny wants. I predicted is out. Rachel, you got my number. I'm sure I'll have a more. I, I am looking to move the entire tank of them because it's another tank that I got to move. So, shoot me a call. If you would like to get some off of them, just go ahead and shoot him a, a message. Yeah, you can, you can shoot me an email too if you're at vanikin.aquatics at gmail.com. But Rachel is for she she lives out here by me, so she already has my number. Uh oh, we had another bid, so it's not sold yet. I'm sorry. That's what I get for not paying attention. Forty five. Aquatic, Aquatic addicted said he'll do it. Uh, he's in for another lot for thirty five dollars if you want to. Okay. Yeah, I jumped the gun on that. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, what, what, what's the bid at now? It was at 40. 40. Oh. Who, who yeah. bid that? Uh, that was Reagan Palmer. Okay. To do 40 for the next one. And then he, uh, Aqua Addicted, said they were out. That's why I did so. He said he would buy a lot off of you for thirty-five. Just, just email, just email Kenny. You could do it that way. Uh, okay. Next, you can you can hang out, if you want, uh, Kenny. All right, I get this water back going here. I'll be back. I'll have you in front of my tank until I get back. Okay. Uh, Big Steve, you awake back there. <laughs> I had to do it. I'm sorry. I just had to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Patiently waiting. Best for last, man. Yeah, I say the best for last. All righty. Thank God. Uh, let me look at my, my thing here. I didn't write the number down in my notes in front of me. I didn't. Okay. I'll t how? Okay. This is what we'll do. Just give me. We're on a pause. I got busy. And then I started messaging people. And I forgot to write it down. Six, six, six. Okay. Got it. Okay, up first, let's see what this is. Oh, okay, we're going to do the... No, 
We don't have that in order like that. Get a new one somehow. Oh, what up, Big Steve? Mute it. Put it on loop. What do you got going on over there, man? I'm doing water changes. All right. That was me with the background. I apologize. All right. What we got up first is going to be six trout gadads. Oh. Starting bed is going to be. Why can't I make that bigger? That doesn't even help. All right. But that's what they are. It's a little bit bigger. Starting bed is going to be 20 bucks. Go ahead and take it away, Steve. So I got these from Dan, um, from Dan, I guess about a year ago. And I've been growing them up and growing them up. And I just, there, I got a, enough to uh, start spreading them around. So I figured I might as well try it out, see what, see how they do. I mean, they're, they're, they're a really cool fish. They're, um, they're big. They hit big. They get, like, some of those females are probably like four and a half, five inches. Like, they're pretty big. Um, active fish. These were from Dan. Supposedly got these from I think Greg Sage. Um, this was from his group that he got from him. So I guess they're supposed to be good ones. Like you know they've been kind of bred for the yellow, and so I think they're a little brighter than some of the ones I've seen. But do um, um, you have an idea on shipping, real quick? Sorry, I was going to do twenty bucks priority. Unless they wanted to pay for something else. Uh, and what's your sex ratio? Um, well, I'll tell you what. I got six of them I pulled out. I don't know if this is... Can I switch the view on this? Yeah. How do I do that? Should be a little uh, box on the bottom of your phone with the arrows that are going in circles. There you go. So I don't know how good you can see that. I mean, oh, there's definitely, there's definitely a male. Me. Some of them are a little too young, I think, to really tell. I don't know. If you do end up with all males, I'll get you more. I mean, if you end up with all females, I'll get you a male. Uh, I got plenty of them, so hard to. Not the greatest lighting. But they are active. Like, they just constantly swim. That, I mean, just... They're cool. They're cool to watch. 30 bucks. Aqua addicted. Now, what do you recommend with the uh, water? Do you need hard water? 20 seconds. But, well, I I use RO for everything and then remineralize. I, I must like 200, 250, something like that in the middle. Shady Grady, 35. Got ourselves a little bit more. Ding dong, going once at $35. You know, I didn't even watch the front of this tank. I missed this tank. I predicted 40. Ooh, KJE tried. Can't believe and I didn't watch it front. KJE 41. And Shady Grady at 45. They are beautiful fish. 50. KJE, $50. Shady Grady, 51. You are beautiful. 53. Man, I can't keep up with this. 55. Big Steve, are these one of the uh, care species as well? Um, 
Yeah, they're care species. I think so, but I, I can't promise you. I mean, I think pretty much all the good eels are, aren't they? I, I think they are, too. That's something we should be mentioning. Yeah. So yeah. not only will you be winning a cool fish, you'll be helping keeping it alive. 56. When I, um, right, like who's going to hit 60? Let's do $10 a fish. I'll feed these guys, you know, pellets, with all that stuff, and then I'll go get a, like a half pound of black worms. And when I hit them with black worms, like within, it just seems like within three days, there's there's babies, and the babies come out big. But I don't know. It seems like when I feed them the black worms, they just that's what turns them Eight on. Bitter. First class fish, sixty five, sixty seven. Damn. Nice. This is Greg Sage line fish, so they're br much brighter yellow than the uh, straight species. I mean, I haven't seen many really to compare them to, uh, so I, I can't really vouch for that, but I know that's what the story was, you know. I mean, they and they are beautiful, so. 75, Shady Grady. It kind of checks out. I can't believe I didn't watch this guy. Well, don't worry about it. There's, oh my goodness, did you all see, look at that male, man. 80 bucks. Freaking monster. Holy. First class, 80 bucks. Those are pretty fish. Mm -hmm. Dude, you're killing me. I wish I had room right now. You do. No, I don't, man. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, you do. I can't. Yeah, you do. There's always yeah, you room. Do. Tore a tank down. You can put that There's down. always room. <laughs> hey, Kenny. Go, go, yeah. go get yourself a Rubbermaid tub and throw them in there. <laughs> Listen, I, I could say that because uh... <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know if they need heat. I keep these guys around 80. They go cold. They so, go I, cold. yeah, I don't think you really need heat, but I had some other fish in here that needed heat and they did fine with the heat. Uh, how big do they get? I, some of these females are probably five inches. They're big. Wow. I mean, they're 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 big. All right, All right. we're going we're going once with eighty dollars to FCF. Everybody else is out. Please let me know, and then we will close. Hey, there's this. a big female right there. Uh, KJE says they can go as low as sixty degrees. What are they again? They are trout gadaids. They're live bearers, June. What's up, car? Yeah, they are super healthy. Oh, they're fat. They get fat. They eat. Let's say I'm going to type it, and then somebody else is going to. All right, it's been sold. And 80. So yeah, I was waiting. I was waiting for him to do that. Me. All right, congratulations, first class fish. You won that bid. Uh, six, eighty dollars. Okay. And he's feeding them. So the next right. one, the next ones they're tough to see. They uh they don't like the camera. Well, we got a video of those. You wanna see if you are they up? Whoops, sorry, wrong button. So look, these are uh, these are shell dwellers. Just tell them what they are. You're getting six of them. The starting bid is twenty bucks. These are from Danigan. These I got from Danigan. 
At, at like, I think probably maybe your one of your first auctions. Oh, nice, bud. Yeah, these are from you. They uh, they reproduce like crazy, man. They're they're awesome. I don't do anything special. Uh, same same as I, I don't know. Put some shells in there, and then you have babies. And they colony breed, just like I guess regular jellies. I mean, they're. And if you guys will notice, if you you've got a nice planted tank, see how the uh, plants look good in there. These these are one of the uh, African cichlids that you can actually keep plants with. And yeah, I mean they're they they stay in planted tanks. I mean, yeah, are, can you can you say what they are, please? These Neo, are uh, Neo Labralogus catapatatas. Thank you, because I can't say that. You're getting six of them. The starting bid is 20 bucks. Got two minutes left. Dang, dude, you've been having lots of them. Oh, you know, I'm, dude, I'm telling you, I have, oh, man, a lot. They're looking good, man. I mean, I love in the colors. The main tank is, is a five and a half. They just constantly pump out babies in this little five and a half right here. I scoop the I scoop the babies out, throw them out. Yeah, I think if you go to any of the main retailers of cichlids, I, I want to say these fish are like fifteen to twenty bucks a fish. So you guys know what these go for. Coral thirty five. And I've oh, seen some that? of them that are called like red tops. They look the exact same to me, so I don't I don't know about that whole thing. So what size tank are these good to be in? I keep them in a five and a half. They should be in something bigger, ten. They only get like two inches. They don't get my big. my original colony skipper was in a twenty gallon long. I've now put them in a fifty five gallon long, and they've gone even more crazy. So, but he is absolutely correct. If you just want to get a colony started you can do so in about a five to ten gallon tank with five or six of them but you have to understand you've got to expand that tank okay but these are killer 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 fish no oh, that's okay lady r i'm glad you're here and they're not evidently they're not like a true true shell dweller they're like a cave dweller well, my, I don't know about you, Steve, but mine, the, the adults don't go anywhere near the shells, but they will breed and throw their eggs in the shells. Oh, you know, these guys are going in the shells. I, I'm going to have a hell of a time trying to catch them to get the six out of here. Really? Oh, yeah. It's, as soon as I open the top up, they're, boom, they're going. Fine. Yeah, mine, mine I don't see in the shells very often. They're... But that's the original Cali, so they're kind of used to me now. So I'm hoping it'd be nice if their traits passed on to the ones I've got going. Killer Kitty at 60. We're going once on the 60 bucks, if it'll take. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he's overflowing the tank right now, probably. <laughs> No, it wasn't. I thought thought it was still in the other. I forgot I just changed it. This multitasking stuff is dangerous for Kittle Kenny E. You know this, Skipper. 65, first class fish. Type these guys you know That showed up on YouTube, but it didn't show up on here. That's oh, weird. my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. Uh... Nakashoma? Yeah. Boy, that's gorgeous, bro. He's he is like he's just starting to get his color, man, and he is just Oh my goodness. Popping. Ah. Yeah, he's really cheesing it up, man. I can't even get him turn sideways. There you go. Uh there's six of them vibes, not the betas, but the punk tortoise. Sorry, sorry. It's up three ten <laughs> That was a distraction. Yeah, they're just up here cheesing, man. I can't help it. Five well, comes in at 70. Oh, my goodness. Just about done with the discus room, and I got to move on to the big boy room. Then I can call it a night.
So who's the high bidder? Vibes. Oh, yeah. They're looking good. All right. We're going once with Vibes at 70. If you guys are not bidding, it was bidding against. If please say that you are out. If not, put in a bid, please. Twice. And I don't have hard water. Like I don't, I said earlier, you know, two or three hundred. I don't keep hard water. They do fine in average water. That's great. Yeah, they're not in anything special. Like. First class is out. There was one other person. I forgot who it was. Oh, killer. Curl Kitty. And it's so hard to see. Do you want to do out. Do you want to do another group of them tonight? Um, or they can <laughs> I can do a four pack. I'll do a four pack. I'm just All counting right. what I got in here. There's probably 12 in here. I got probably six down there, six over there. But they're going to be hard to catch. Okay, this group this group of six is sold to Vibes Aquatics for $70. We're also, we're going to do, we're going to do, what is the starting bid? The starting bid is going to be 20 For a group of four. Yeah, for a four pack. Skip, put put it in. Twenty bucks. I just did. Okay, Coral's in for thirty-five. All right. But I do need to get some of these guys out of here because this is the one with my old thumbs, and I need to get. That's one of my pistols, but I need to get these fish out of here to give this tank to the Altums. Shady Grady says 40. I think they like these fish, uh, Steve. They're cool fish, man. I, they're they're cool fish. For vibes. I have not regretted it since the day I got them. I was excited. I've always, I don't know. I've always liked them. They're cool. Well, you did a stellar job with them, Steve. They're looking great. They uh, they don't like tear the tank all up, like you know, pile up. They 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 don't hurt the plants. I mean, I don't know. They just and they're fun to watch. They're always doing something. They're on a mission. But no, sir. They are beautiful. I think TJ has one. TJ has a group that I'd like to get. I don't know. These are awesome fish. Right now, I just can't do it. Because these things, man, they just freaking breed like crazy. First class fish at forty six dollars. <laughs> oh my god, Cora, that's funny. Cora says he has to find out how a shelly baked and caught his cheese filled with snail shell taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And technically this lineage is uh partly Ryan Mackey from Greater Portland Aquarium Society, and then the other Part came from Shanna Banana, if y'all remember her, 503 Aquatics. Oh, wow. Did not know that. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, I remember old Shanna. Yeah. Shanna. Oh, oh. I like oh. that shit. Ten seconds. We're going once at 46 to first class fish. 
Did first class fish, did they get the um, trout grenade still? Yeah, he got the grenade, yeah. Okay, that's it. Going twice. So to first class fish. Boom. Oh, oh congratulations. Would, Good deal. Freaking would do that as I hit sold. Going going once. Uh oh, what happened? Killer oh, kitty's in. Killer kitty. Before I typed it in, here that you understand there's a delay. That's why I do this. She so got in before it came out so she's in for are you sure no takes back she's oh she was leaving work she didn't know all right all right now we got a big confusion uh oh uh oh, what happened? I can't see the chat. What happened? So it was sold to uh she put in fifty bucks right before I typed sold in. But she said to give it to first class fish. All right, we can give it to whatever his last bid was. All right, it sold to first class fish for forty six. Yeah, whatever his last bid was. We sold first class fish for 46. Killer Kitty's leaving works. All right. Okay, I see what's going on. All right, we're good. You can back off of that. No. That's the end of the auction. The next auction. Well, thanks again, Skipper, for putting this on, buddy. Yeah, man. Thank yeah, you. You're welcome. you're welcome. Thank you guys very much. Normally, we have Jason here tonight, but he had something going on, so he couldn't make it. Uh, as always, I got my boy, Paulie. He's back in the saddle. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, the next auction will be. All right, Steve, we'll see you. He has company. He has to go. Uh, the next auction will be the 11th. I want to. I want to keep it the second Saturday, so it'll be in one, two, three weeks. No, oh, he's here. Sorry so, about that. No, you're fine. No clue what I'm doing. Uh, you'll get it. No, listen, first class fish, yeah, you would have been broke. You would have been broke because we had some amazing fish for the first auction of the year. Yeah, this was a good one. Dude, those those corridors, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. AI. That, oh my God. AI. That was on so, I've never I was in total shit. That, that was the, the some of the prettiest fish I've seen in a long time. It's not very often you see something that cool. Like you're, you're like, wow, that was wow. That blew my mind. They were worth that. I just don't have a tank that I, I could put that much money. Like I don't. They they need a a real tank. I think you could get them breeding the good in a twenty gallon. Actually, put yeah. them in a twenty gallon, they'd be happy. But uh, I want to thank everybody for participating for participating tonight right there. May 11th is the next auction. You know how to ship fish. You do fish, snails, shrimp, uh, uh, plants. We also allow everybody to do plants. Uh, if you have fish art that you do and you want to try to sell, we also do that. Uh, 
Thank you, everybody, for participating in the auction, the, the breeders. Thank you very much. And also the crafters. We've had one of them tonight. Thank you very much. And everybody in chat, the mods for helping out. I want to thank Paulie for helping me out with the timer tonight and being up here with me. Kenny and Big Steve, thank you guys also. You guys got anything thank you. to say? Kenny, you got anything to say? I'm good. We'll see you all tomorrow night. Same time, same place. 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Big 9 Steve. p.m. the real time. 9 p.m. the real time. <laughs> 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 None of that West Coast garbage. <laughs> no, nah, hey man, thank thanks for putting this on, man. Uh, this is this is awesome. Uh, you know, it, it takes that effort. You know, it's, it doesn't just put itself together. You got to do that. So thank you. Appreciate it. All right, Polly. Stay fresh, cheese bags. <laughs> on that note, everybody, have a good <laughs> we are out.